You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out a Betty Crocker Juicer Blender. Yeah, it's from uh, the 70s. I'll have to confirm that in a little bit. Item number 15930 from Kenner. And look, the original tag on here. Well, I think it's close to original. It was $19.99 for ages 5 and up. Let's see, it says, works like mom's blender, makes puddings, dips, parfaits, and can be used with easy bake, cake, and chocolate chip cookie mixes. There is a special juicer attachment, makes fruit punch and frothy kitty cocktails, which I'm going to attempt to do for you here, and plus one other mix that I want to do, because they give you a little booklet that's got some recipes. So I'm going to follow two of those. Now, she's using the juicer there. Of course, the food is not included, so you'd have to... If you're going to use this with an Easy Bake Oven, hint, hint, which I will at some point, but not right now, because I want to show you just this here. Uh, so you get the blender, you get the interchangeable containers, and it says safe mixing blade, fresh fruit juicer, and then the container cover. So when I come back, we will take it out of the box. Everything inside is actually still sealed. I did have to open it up just to make sure that it worked. It got the batteries in there, so that's all set to go. I'm excited. So when I come back, I'll have everything out of the box and we'll check it out. All right, so I'm gonna show you what was in the box here. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but I thought it'd be cool while I have you and you're watching the original sticker sheet. So it's never been used before, as far as I can tell. The bag has parts in it. And this is a, like a tray section. Like I said, I did have to get it out to test it. I couldn't start the video. So I knew that it worked. So here is my blender, and it's a pretty nice size. It's heavy with the D batteries in there. It's got four D batteries. This is the juicer part. And then there's this other blender part. Now this I did not take out. So this is coming out of the package for the first time. All right, here we go. So you get two, and it looks like they, of course, just Go on the same way. Yes. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right. So here is the booklet. So let's look through this before I get everything. Well, I'll tell you what, let me take it out of the bag. Now, sometimes I do this off camera, but today I'm here with you. Let's do it. So the juicer attachment. Ooh, that's going to go on the top of that. Okay, neat. This is the top of the blender. And it looks like the little mixing paddle. I'm guessing it just goes straight on here like this. There we go. And then this goes on this. I'm not going to start it yet, but I know it works. Sorry. There you go. I actually didn't realize I wasn't looking at that, but this put on top of here and then this on top of here. All right. So let's go back down here. Sorry about that. Let's see. Juicer blender book. Here's all the instructions. Now, there's only two things that actually work. They call this a button, but it's not. It's a slider that doesn't really do anything. Back up here again. Sorry about that. And then you have your on off. Of course, this is how the batteries went in on the bottom. Have mom or dad or an older person help you cut an orange. All right, so I think I'm gonna do that first. I decided, well, here's the blender, some important tips to clean up. The speed selector, so you have on and off, and then speed selector here. And then I need to get the sticker on. How about we do that? Let's see if it's still good. It's no good. It's lost all of its stickiness. I'd have to do something else to get that to stick. I do have some spray, but I'm just going to leave them off so we know. This one here went to the selector here, but it doesn't really do much. And then this high on off probably went in between here so you can see what the selection is, but it's too old to put on. So what am I gonna do? I was looking at this and I thought I would do this one here, the golden surprise. This recipe is for one person, but you can make as many as you need. Three oranges, half a lemon, three teaspoons sugar. And then the other one, well here, I'll just show them all to you really. I, I'm thinking, now I haven't officially decided but nothing here, a little too much, eight oranges, carbonated lemonade. But then I thought I gotta do one from that and one from the blender recipes. So here they are, this is the Easy Bake chocolate chip. If I was gonna do those, but I'm not. 
I think I'm going to do the shake. I've got everything I need for that. So let's start with the juicer attachment. I'll wash everything, come back, and we're going to make this golden surprise. All right, so here we go. Now, just so you know, this is not going to be part of any kind of mini food. I'm going to make a full size, well, as much as I can get out of three oranges. So let's get this on here. Let's get this on here. Do you want to see it running? I bet you all want to see it running. Everything's, those two pieces are washed and ready. I will show you that. And then you will see that this selector switch is not connected to anything. So this is the on off. So right now it's in the low position, I believe. Okay. And then when you switch this up, that goes into the high position. Remember it's running on battery, so I can turn it off and turn it on this. It's just for show, all right? So, let's see. I'm going to make the golden surprise. This recipe is for one person, and that is me. Now, it did say to roll out your oranges. You push them on the top to kind of loosen up the inside juice. I need three of those. It also said, let's see. This recipe is for one person, but you can make as many as you need. Three oranges, a half a lemon, Three teaspoons of sugar, which I have, to your taste. You can add more or less. Juice oranges and lemon in half in your juicer. Place juices in a glass. Add sugar to taste. If you wish, you can add ice cream, which I am as a garnish, with a slice of orange or lemon, which I probably will do. I've got my little sundae glass. I thought with the ice cream, it's almost like a, ooh, what's that called? Orange, orange, those push-ups. I, I can't think. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm, I'm going to use some small tools, though, that I have. And so I'm probably going to cut these this way, right, so that we can juice them this way. There's one. Ooh, its juice is already coming out. So I would like to get some of these seeds out, though. They do say that you can squeeze it as you're juicing it. Remember it said, ask parents to cut these for you. I feel that they're pretty juicy and pretty too. All right, let's do this lemon last. Let's give it a squish. Here we go. Okay, there's more seeds in that. All right, so that's what I'm going to be juicing today. Let's move this out of the way. Let's bring this out of the way. Let's do our juicing. Okay, so let's do it uh, from this perspective first. So we just kind of see what's happening. Here we go. Ooh. Let's go high. Ooh, there we go. Let's take a look at it. Remember, it, said, it did say squeeze as you go. I'll probably give it a whole squeeze when it's done. Like this, just to get any extra out. Look at that. Okay, there's one. Let's take a look now from here and kind of see how much juice is in there. And here is number two. I'm putting a fair amount of pressure down, and it still seems to be handling it. Now let me squeeze. Ooh, those squeaky sounds. Sorry if you had headphones on. It's holding up pretty good, I would say. All right, I might be able to squeeze out more, but let's just get through these. That's what it looks like as it's been squished through a little. It's actually collecting the pulp too on the top. I noticed that in that upper area. There, now there, I'm really pushing the sides. It seems to be holding up. Look at that. Okay, halfway there. Let's try the next one here. I 
Let's see. I didn't squish the last one good. So there's still some in there. It's not not getting it all out. Here goes the next one. Now I'm going to push hard and see. Yeah. Let's turn it back this way. I would say it's doing pretty good. All right. Let's see how much we have. Now, Lily, they don't want you to go past a certain point in the machine. Well, let's just see. How much fresh OJ we now have. Can you see it good enough? Oh, that's enough. I just made it. Let me uh let me save that. I have a second one here. And then let me do my lime. Let's get that on there. There we go. There's one little seed on the top. Let me grab it while I see it. All gone. Now the line. That little tray on the top here, I'll show you everything that's in there, is collecting the pulp, and there's a seed in there that I missed, so it's nice to have that kind of collect everything for you. There, another seed just came out. Did you see it? Let me give that a squish. Okay. Let's put that in. Here we go. And then it was sugar. So let's see. I'm not I'm not necessarily following the recipe here. What did it say? Okay. Three teas. Okay. Juice oranges and a lemon half in your juicer. Place juices in glass. So they want you to do that before you add your sugar and your ice cream. Here, let's get this out of there. I don't want all those seeds. That looks nice. Okay. Let's get a spoon in here. Excuse me, a spork, which was brought to my attention. But I'm using it now as a mixing device. How's that? And then three teaspoons. What did it say? Yeah, three teaspoons of sugar. One, I'm just gonna do two, because I'm gonna add the ice cream. Mix that up. It's hard not to take a sip. And now some vanilla ice cream. I am going to use this little scooper. That's why I brought this in here. So I can get a nice little scoop on there. There we go. Mmm, it's like an orange -sicle. Is that what I was trying to say? Tasty, all right, I think we got it. Oh, garnish. Ooh, I have just enough. So let's add a little garnish wedge. Let me bring that back in here. We'll just cut it, uh, let's see, we'll try to cut it this way here. We'll just cut a piece this way. Hmm, yeah, I'm just trying to, no, I gotta go this way. Okay, there's one piece of my wedge. go nice size let's slice it down here okay Ooh, no seeds who's a fan of seeds anybody not a big fan of seeds okay one more cut this is the other half of the lemon I did not juice because their pictures show both so I'm gonna do both There we go. A little bit smaller. There we go. All right, so there is my first drink. Let me clean up, come back before that melts too much and give it a taste. All right, so I just needed a quick rag here to clear up some of that. And now I am going to give it a taste. But first I'll mix it up just a little because I got that sugar on the bottom, get my ice cream mixed in there. 
Mm. Okay, so I will take a sip. It's definitely sweet. I probably would use one sugar next time. Because it really depends, I guess, on the size of your oranges and the size of your glass. Let's try this. Maybe it does have that dreamsicle. It's good, though. It's all fresh juice. Ooh, that's a good bite. And tasty. All right, so that is number one. Let me try the other attachment. I'll come back and make the next one for you. All right, here we go. This is number two. This was the Great Shakes. It says, place small teaspoonful of softened ice cream into bowl, fill bowl half full. So they want this with a bunch of little teaspoonfuls. They don't want you to just throw in a, bowl, a big chunk. So and this is pretty soft. You'll see that it's soft and ready. So I guess it makes it easier for the machine, of course, to handle smaller amounts. Now I'm going to make this chocolate because it says before you mix, add in chocolate or other ice cream flavor if you want to change the flavor. Oops. Let's see if I can grab that little stray. Okay, maybe one or two more. All right, there we go. Eh, a few more. Let's see. Let's see if it can handle it. Let's push this machine to the limits. It's really soft, so I don't think it should have a problem. I mean, I was pushing down with my juicer and it didn't seem to have a problem. All right, so now it says fill with milk. I'm going to use almond milk to the level of the ice cream. Okay, and then a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of the chocolate malt mix. Now this is all, you know, up to you. You use the ingredients you can use. If you ever do find a machine like this, you don't have to do what they say. If you're allergic to something, you wouldn't use it. Here we go. Okay, now this time I'm putting the lid on. And then it says, what does it say? Pour milk, okay. Turn blender on high. Okay, it's on high, and here we go. Let's see what it does. I'll hold the top just in case. Oh yeah, that's working pretty good. So I don't have to have my hand on it. Ooh, now we can look inside. Ooh, hold on a second. <laughs> I will take that off in just a second. Just getting a few more things prepped here. It doesn't give you a time, like mix for two minutes or whatever. You just kind of do what you got to do. But I'm sure you all want to see inside, right? I'm just getting my cup ready. And then a spoon. I'll bring this back in. Here we go. Let's take a look if it's mixed up real nice. That's cool to watch. Let me just zoom in. Let me stop it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I'm thankful it didn't just go everywhere. All right. Let's pour it in here and see if our shake turned out. It looks like it did. It looks like a nice consistency. Like I said, you can mix them however you want to. Yeah, look. It does have a few little chunks in it. That was the perfect amount for this. And then it said you can add more. I think I am going to top it off with one scoop, one more scoop of ice cream just to kind of make that final presentation here. There, what do you think of that one? I say the tabletop's pretty clean, so I won't need to do much with it. And I'm going to give this one a taste. Here we go. I like it a little thicker, but it does take a little bit to get it up out of the straw. Ah, tasty shake. All right, I did it. 
And you could add whipped cream to that or whatever you want to spice it up a little. So I would say it worked out pretty good. It is the Betty Crocker Juicer Blender. And what year is it from? It is from 1979. I almost forgot. And if you like the video, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more of my blenders, did I say more blenders? Yes. I can make more things for you with different blenders. Some smaller, but all toy-related blenders. Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.